Prince Rupert drops are normally made from dropping molten glass into water. This rapidly cools the outside and puts high stresses on the drop. So when you snip the tail, it explodes, but the head of the drop is extremely strong and can withstand a hammer blow. To make them edible, I'm dropping edible glass made from sucrose and fructose into liquid nitrogen. Look at that. Awesome. The shape looks right. Let's see if the heads are strong. Wow, they're actually really strong. Oh, there it finally goes. But let's see if they can withstand my teeth. The edible Prince Rupert drop. They didn't explode like real Prince Rupert drops because the thermal expansion coefficient is different and also it absorbs some water from the air. 